Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Autumn Embers and welcome to me building a wedding a wedding venue. So um there is a group chat on Discord, there is like a Sims group chat on Discord where um there are like every Friday there is I think it's every Friday. Um every Friday there is a challenge that you can take part if you want to, if you don't have to time, you don't have to take part, it's not a requirement. But um every Friday they give you a challenge and one of those challenge for that week was to make a wedding venue. Now um you may be thinking, okay, that's great, but um, why are you starting this video right in the middle? Um, that's because um, I didn't realise I wasn't recording because I got up my uh, recording software, which is OBS, and I thought I pressed record and I've, I just thought myself as I was building this, hmm, let me just check if I am recording. And it um, turns out I wasn't. And I was in two months like, oh, first of all, I was like, oh, for God's sake, no. <laughs> Why? I definitely pressed record. What? And two, I was like, oh, okay. <sighs> do I press record now or do I just keep on going and it'll just be a thing that I just upload to the gallery? But I went, no, 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 no. I am doing the barn at the moment for this uh, wedding venue. I might as well uh, press record because I still need to do some bits and pieces. So at the moment you are seeing me uh, decorate the barn so to build this barn all I did was uh, grab the box tool and drew out a rectangle um, I then grabbed the same tool and then drew two other rectangles next to it slightly smaller and thinner I then put a roof on top of the bigger rectangle more like the gable roofing the triangle looking gable roofing and then uh, for the smaller rectangles I kind of roofed them in the more half sloped one if that makes sense um I will put up images I think that will make more sense if I put up, put up images for the roofing but it was quite an easy simple structure to put up and it's pretty good in my thinking in my opinion in my opinion and um, at the moment I'm just decorating it so I put down some beams because barns have beams and I like a good beam. Um, I put down uh, this table at the, um, like, like once you come in it's right in back in front of you. I put that down because I thought that could be like the head table that the bride and groom can sit down on. You have to choose which other person that can sit next to you because there's only one extra um um, chair next to it normally they would be the grooms mum dad parents and perhaps bridesmaids up there but you, there is only one extra um a chair up there so apologies for that i did make this wedding venue a lounge because um there is no wedding venue sort of category lot type so i went for the lounge because i looked up what everybody else did and everyone else had their wedding venues as lounges so that's what i did so the bit in the middle here is just like the party dancing area section and um there is a bar there is a uh, kitchen a little, very small little kitchen because you need that to bake your cake i put down this uh, uh piano because you need an instrument i originally wanted this piano to sit here where the aisle is where, uh, where you get married the sort of like um, what's it called the archway i want to put it there because that would make sense for if it was a wedding venue like it if it was an actual lot type but this isn't is a lounge so it would make more sense if it was closer to um the bar and stuff and also i noticed when you are having your wedding in the sims um they don't like to look at you when your sims are having, having like saying their vows which is rude um but they like to go bugger off to the bar and um stay around that section so i put it there because it made sense for uh uh, for that reasons <laughs> this oh i love these lights but the windows um i wasn't really feeling myself i was kind of sleepy and these windows here um they have a right side and a left side window so they've got one window window for a right side and they have a window for the left side and um 
<laughs> they don't make sense. They're not um, they're not symmetrical on each side um, because I kept getting confused. Like, is this window the right side window or is this window the left side of the window? And so it made putting these lights up difficult because I was putting these lights up according to the placement of the windows. And since the windows are in different places on either side, the lighting doesn't, the lighting, very lights don't make sense. They're not symmetrical. Uh, so I had a bit of fun palaver trying to figure out these windows. Um, it would be great if we just just have windows that fit your door. It wasn't a right and the left window. So um, um, if you do, uh, hmm, am I going to do uploads to the gallery? Because I did a, a replace this because I originally built this in Granite Falls. And unfortunately, you cannot have a wedding whilst on your holidays. So uh, putting it in Granite Falls uh, is a bit pointless, but I put it there because Granite Falls, it, it's not the greatest holiday destination because you don't have much to do there, but it looks great, it's so pretty. And so I put it there, but um, I decided, I, I saved it to my library and I did move it to the Blossom Park. Um, and the the um the terrain textures and soil and stuff they didn't come with and so it kind of looks strange without that it still looks good but that really makes it and it, it didn't come with it's like oh okay so i might need to go back and do it myself <laughs> and it's not gonna look as good and it's kind of put me off that so i don't know if this will be uploaded to the gallery i really hope it i hope i do do it because it is a very pretty venue, in my opinion. So here is a waterfall. I got this in the uh, live edit um, object section. So you just uh, filter it by uh, Discover University. And then you come across like a, a blue sheet, which is this waterfall here. I popped that down. And since we are in Granite Falls, I just encased it and covered it in rocks because the sides are very straight. Because like I said, it's just like a sheet of waterfall. So I discovered it up with some granite for rocks to make it more waterfall like thinking and looking at it and how I should have um, blended it in a little bit more because it's just like, hey, here is a waterfall. Um, and it just sort of looks like it's been plonked down. I should have um, perhaps put some more rocks around the back of this lot so it looks like the waterfall makes more sense. But at the moment, it's just here. Um, but I do dissipate the rocks, you know? Because you can't just have a big conglomerate, conglomeration, big sort of like um, group of rocks and then in, not dissipate in my mind. Um, so I do dissipate me rocks. You gotta dissipate your rocks. Um, just putting down my favourite trees. This is my favourite tree. I'm always putting it down. I absolutely love it. So I'm just deleting the roof there because originally on this lot was. Um, some sort of building I deleted it because like, I don't want a building I don't want that building for my wedding venue so I just deleted that just putting down some more flowers a lot of this video is just me putting down flowers and doing a bit of gardening which is what you don't normally see me do in my normal videos because I don't know what how I'm doing but here I'm just sort of repeating the some of, some of the uh, groups of flowers that were originally here and those um, archways of like flowers, no, I think it's a tree. Um, those are from the cats and dog life edit objects. I absolutely love them. I really wanted to use them, but I never had, but I knew, <clears throat> but I never known where to use them. But for this, I thought, yes, those are perfect. So uh, th these are the things that I was talking about. Um, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure how to describe them. It's all like, trees that sort of like come together and it's all like dangle down and they look really pretty and they look really pretty in the screenshots and i just put them together and i put some chairs underneath there also put in a city living rug and chose the petal form because that's really pretty as well and kind of like romantic if you want to say um kind of and it kind of acts as a aisle and really make oh this is why you went to walk down um, so I put that down there, um, just put in some um, some tea lights uh, in here because this is a wedding venue, it will get dark outside and so you need to know where you go, especially if you want to go to the loo because the last thing you want is to go to the loo in the dark and just stumbling around going, I don't really need to pee. 
and you don't know where you're going. So I put some two lights down so you can see where you're going. So you light it up a little bit. It looks really pretty. This whole build. No, not the whole build. It's not a build. Well, it is kind of because I did build the barn. Um, but this whole thing is, I think it's really, really pretty. And like a nice, soft, romantic place where you seem to get married in. Which is why I do want to upload it to the gallery. Because it will, it will, I think it will make a nice... A nice um, place to get for you to get married, but like I said, you can't get married in Granite Falls. And the lot that I placed it on was a 50 by 40 lot, and there aren't many 50 by 40 lots in the game. Um, the lot I placed it on realised um, the, the soil didn't come with was the Blossom Park, and um, it does mean you have to get rid of the Blossom Park for this because, like I said, there aren't many. You could put this down onto a 60 by so 64 by 64 lot you could do that but um there'd be like a lot of it that wouldn't be used and it would look quite weird you can you kind of can get away with it if it was a building but this since it's like an outdoor venue it probably show up that that lot, lot is too big for it and so um hmm it's a bit of a weird one um so <sighs> It would be nice to upload it to the gallery. So I'm just putting down some uh, wooden benches. Oh, I also put down a bench right in front of the waterfall because I thought that would be like a nice um, sort of like photo area to take a photo of your uh, wedded sims. And um, I thought that would be quite nice. Um, put some benches around because it required it. And also, if you just want to take a break away from the party, you can just... Uh, go away and sit on one of those benches and not be scared because there are plenty of tea lights um so i'm gonna leave this part here because i said everything i wanted to say oh i just want to say quickly um i did put in some uh, plants around the waterfall just to make it more look like waterfall-esqueness and look it's been here for a while plants have grown here here i'm just ch checking that um it is bright enough to see where you're going um obviously it's not gonna be incredibly bright it is a forest i don't want to put um put like lots of uh freestanding lamps in here um, i didn't want to put that in there um so i just went ahead with tea lights everyone likes a good tea light and i and i chose the lanterns you know safety first Oh, and also, there'll probably be those uh, fake tea lights, you know, the plastic ones. There'll probably be them that you just sort of, like switch on and off with uh, because there are batteries inside. So, I'm just putting some more down. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Um, you can join the Discord group chat. Mm, yes, you can. Um, I don't know. Um, I'll leave it in the description box below if I can find it. Um, so thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, thank you. And goodbye.